right, everybody knows you're one of Joe Rogan's friends, and a lot of people say that you're playing Joe in the film, and you're playing, you're playing yourself. I, I know wanted, you are. I wanted, I wanted Joe to walk the red carpet, because he doesn't want to do it. I was like, dude, I'm playing you. I called him up. I asked him all these questions, and, uh, you know, I'm, I basically am channeling Joe Rogan. And I called him up, and I said, do you have any advice? I'm playing you. And he said, just take yourself out of the equation and call the fights, and that's what I did. And did you find that you were, like, I mean, you, you had some gems, some gem lines in that film. You know, and actually I heard Joe Silva, the UFC matchmaker, he was like, oh, he's upset because you said, oh, he's gonna be, the guy's gonna end up in a coma or something like that. And Joe Silva's upset, I'm like, it's a movie, Joe. As realistic as it was, it's still a movie, right? What, Joe Silva was upset, why? Because uh, I, I dissed a fighter, you mean? No, no, you said, this guy's gonna end up in a coma. Okay. Which UFC is not, you know, they, they try to keep it as safe as possible, and, you know. I mean, hey, look, I mean, I'm a huge fan of the UFCs. I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of just MMA fighting in general. And, and the fact is it's a dangerous sport. It's a lot less dangerous than race car driving. It's a lot less dangerous than boxing. And it's a lot less dangerous than football. That's a fact. And the reason for that is that in the UFC, with those small gloves, when you get hit once, you go out. That's a lot less traumatic for your head than, say, you know, football, which is constant pounding, or, or you know, uh, any of those other sports. But any uh, boxing especially, look at how many blows boxers take to the head just with jabs alone, okay? And, and then take a look at, like, the average UFC fighter. You know, I got a lot of friends who've been fighting for 15 years, and they're fine. Their head's fine. So I agree that it's not, a, it's not nearly as dangerous, but it's still two guys getting in there, knocking each other out, and that can always be dangerous. How much fun did you have in doing this film and not just that you also you created a, a sense of realism like you know when it comes to the Hollywood ending you know the two brothers fighting each other it had the potential of being really fucking cheesy and it, and it wasn't at all they pulled it off and you pulled it off how did you walk that fine line I, I just got excited and involved in the fights that, that instead of the drama I just I just called the fights as I saw them and anybody who knows the fight game if, if you got two guys in there you may have a world champion you may have a guy who just you know who's, who's not even seated but in in the fight game especially in MMA one mistake man and that guy goes out so anything can happen in, 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 in MMA anything and you see it in the UFC all the time you see it in strike force all the time and that's why I, for me, you know, fighters are so heroic. That's why I have so much respect for fighters. I've always been a huge boxing fan, and I'm the same. I'm the same way. I'm just in awe of, uh, you know, when I'm around like guys like Mayhem Miller or Nate Marquardt and those guys, I, I start producing estrogen. I used to train. I used to train at Hensel Gracie School, and I just wanted them to be my friends so badly. You know, all guys want to be. I trained with Hensel. Oh, you did? Oh, it's awesome. I, I, I love Hensel. Oh, you do? Yeah. I love Hensel's one of my favorite people in the world. Yeah, he's everybody's. Everybody. He's the greatest, and, but he's a warrior, you know. And I think I've never met a fighter. Uh, I mean, you know, worth his salt, a real fighter who wasn't a humble guy. Because no matter who you are, you're flesh and blood. And the one thing that fighting, whether it's rolling or especially kicking and punching, teaches you is that you can get you can get taken down, you can get knocked out, you can get dropped quick. And I don't care how tough you are, there's just so much the human chin can take. Now, was, is there anything, last question, anything in the film that when Joe Rogan does see the film, he's yeah. gonna go. He's gonna be like, "Dude, come on, you're playing me. Did you said that? You know? Did you, are there any moments where you thought, oh, maybe I'm going a little too far?" I, I wanna, Joe's here, so we'll be sitting together hopefully, and I, I'll let him tell me that, and he will. Joe doesn't miss any words. Joe will tell me exactly what he thought of my performance. So, uh, but I think I did it justice. So, you know, I, you know, we'll see. But he's one of my best friends, so it doesn't really matter. Dude, I thought you were fantastic, oh, in thanks, it, so bro. congratulations, Thank man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Tell him so I say what's I up, will. bro.